disclaimer. This video is exclusively for entertainment purposes and is made to test my ability to cut a promo on anything and everything. I have no intent to offend or disrespect any of the subjects of my promos. Now sit back, relax and enjoy the video. What is up guys? It is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling bringing you episode number three of Random Promos. This week's episode submitted to us by Brandon Green. It is the WWE Blue Universal title. Let's get right into it. Okay, 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 okay. Now I know that this is going to be a pretty controversial topic. There's probably a lot of you out there that like the Blue Universal Championship. Some of you may even say that you love the Blue Universal Championship. Now I don't know if this is one of them things like that dress that's either black and blue or white and gold, but I'm telling you this for a fact, it is disgusting. That Blue Universal Championship is an abomination to what a world championship should look like, in my opinion. In my opinion, it's crap. And uh, yeah, no, uh, I don't know what you guys see in it. I don't know what a lot of you see in this disgusting Smurf looking piece of absolute garbage that WWE have as the world championship on the SmackDown brand. I don't know. The black and red is so much better. Now, that's the thing. This could be easily, it could have been easily avoided. Easily avoided by some minor things. Now, this promo is going to be a bit in depth. As you guys know, I am a belt enthusiast. 100% I am well into my replicas, I am well into my championships in WWE, so when they change something that's, you know, not really broken, then it's going to get under my skin, just like the Intercontinental title, this one has really got under my skin, now I understand why you WWE changed the colour, obviously the Fiend being on Smackdown, the Fiend being the Universal Championship, you can't have a red belt be the main focus of the blue brand, I get that, but... This argument is no longer valid due to Bray Wyatt having his own custom championship. But if you just kept that red title for the whole period of the Fiend's Universal title reign, it wouldn't have mattered. It really wouldn't have mattered. You would have never needed a custom belt. You wouldn't have needed to change the strap just yet for Christ's sake until literally before the Royal Rumble, the Fiend had red match lighting. Why would you have red match lighting with a blue championship? Now, they have avoided this by giving us... The Fiendiversal Championship is what I'm going to call it. But the Blue Universal title is disgusting. Now, let me get in depth with you guys. I'm not going to have pictures. So just take my word for it because I am right. Why on earth? Firstly, well, we're going to start off with the main plate. So I 100% think that the Blue Universal title would have looked 100% better if they kept the black swoosh. But no, WWE, you had to go and ruin it and change out the black swoosh for a red one. Now this has already been seen on the SmackDown Women's Championship and we can already tell that red on blue does not work. I don't know why you did it, but you did it and it's messed it up. Now if we had a black swoosh, it would have been fine. Now it would have been lovely. But what else have we done? If you guys look at the WWE Championship, you look at the side plates, you look at the colour of the stones, you'll notice they are all clear. They are all white clear stones. But now on the on the WWE Universal title, they are red. There is a, well, for the majority, yes, they are white, but there is some red thrown in there. But instead of restoning them to blue, they kept them red. It makes no fucking sense. These championships do not make sense. Why would you re-leather it in blue and keep the stones red? I don't get it. It's the exact same for the cornerstones and the swoosh. There is still red on this title. If you're going to have a SmackDown belt, get rid of all of the red. We don't need any red. It's for SmackDown. Do you see any red in the SmackDown logo? No, it's blue and white. So keep that colour scheme with the stones and strap. I am done. I really do not like the Blue Universal Championship. It could have been such... A darker shade. Now that's the thing. A lot of you out there, you hated the original Universal Championship. Me being one in particular. My initial reaction at SummerSlam 2016, I was sitting on my sofa. That thing appears on the TV. Bearing in mind, we were rumoured to have like a winged eagle inspired championship. And we get this red strawberry jam looking thing. No, it sucked. I didn't like it initially. But they darkened the strap. And that's one of them things. Wrestlers throw these championships around. They don't treat them very well. They are famous for doing that. So this strap could have just got dark over time. It's very possible. But the strap of the Universal Championship initially went down a few shades, a good few shades. It was like a dark, not necessarily a maroon red, but it was a darker red than it initially was. And it looked gorgeous. When Seth Rollins held that championship, I loved it. The new leather cut on it, 
um, and the whole dark red strap, the black swoosh, it worked. WWE, it worked. So why on earth, after you have seen you got backlash for having a bright strap, why on earth would you decide to re-leather it in light blue? I don't get it. And the argument is there. Sometimes in the lighting, I don't know if it depends on the lighting. I'd have to see it in person for me to really make up my opinion. But on TV, on the Firefly Funhouse, that thing to me at least looks lighter blue. It's a darker shade in a lighter tone. And I don't like that. If you guys, oh, it would have been so cool. If all you had to do all you had to do was throw it on a navy blue, not even navy blue, just a deep dark blue, like the SmackDown Tag Team Championship strap, exactly like the SmackDown Tag Strap. Throw it on one of them, give it blue restones, maybe even just clear restoning, and then a black swoosh, and it would have been fine. But no, you ruined it, and it sucks. I'm not going to waste any more time on the Blue Universal Championship. If you like it, fair enough. We are all entitled to our own opinion. You are entitled to your own opinion. But if you think the Universal title looks nice, your opinion is wrong. I am the Kip Clips YouTube promo champion of 2019, Joe freaking Anthony. And I have said enough about that blue piece of crap. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was my promo on the WWE Blue Universal Championship. And obviously, some points were over-exaggerated. Um, try me just, you know, still being in character and everything. But the majority of the stuff I said is true. It's what I genuinely think. If WWE darkened the strap, gave it a black swoosh, it would look 10 times better than it currently looks. I am not a fan of the Blue Universal title at all. As a matter of fact, being a replica belt, being a general championship belt enthusiast, I was planning on buying a replica universal championship. I was planning on doing so. But now I'm not going to bother. I'm not going to bother. You know, I'm not going to turn around and spend over £300 on a belt that I don't like the look of. So I'm just not going to. But there you go. That's the video. <laughs> I don't know, do you guys like the Blue Universal title? If you do, that's absolutely fine. Obviously, we've all got a different taste. But yeah, I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Please be sure to give this video a like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.